Welcome back, Dolphins, to the second broadcast of the fall semester. I'm Hannah Shami. This past week, JU hosted its Davis Leadership Forum. Reporter Sylvia Dean features a story. Thanks, Hannah. The college brings in various guest speakers of different fields throughout the year to provide opportunity for discussion on life enriching and scholarly topics. Travis T. Tigart came to JU to speak on behalf of the business of sports. On November 2nd, professors, students, and personal friends of Travis T. Tigart gathered at the River House to hear his speech about the importance of anti-doping in professional and collegiate sports. While enjoying lunch, the audience listened to Tigart speak about competing fairly and safely without the use of supplements or drugs. Stressing a multitude of valid statistics and research, he explained how the use of specific drugs unfairly enhances an athlete's performance. You know, you have a five to 10 percent advantage if you're using EPO, which is a drug that will stimulate your red blood cell production, it gives you more endurance and more oxygen through, you know, a race. He answered the audience's questions at the end and influenced members to work harder to get the NCAA involved with promoting anti-doping. He left with the intention to inspire the group to take action to complete fairly. The next Davis Leadership Forum will be hosted next semester in mid-January. With Halloween falling during this past week, JU's English department tried to get in the spirit. On Tuesday of the last week, the English department hosted their all-day write-a-thon. Students gathered in the council gazebo to compete for the title of the best ghost story. Going from nine to nine for a bloodthirsty 12 hours, there were different rounds, snacks, and eerie music to, sell, to help set the Halloween mood. The event raised over $300 for the Learn to Read Literary Coalition and the Art Creation Foundation for Children in Haiti. The Aquarian, the JU's literary arts magazine was displayed, as well as information as to how to get involved in the English department. The council courtyard was packed and high in Halloween spirit with potential authors. JU offers multiple different opportunities for students to express their creative writing and submissions for the Aquarian are open until the end of the semester. Reporting for the Dolphin Channel News, I'm Sylvia Dean. Thanks, Sylvia. At the end of October, students and faculty of the Communications and Humanities Department traveled across state lines for the annual Associated Collegiate Press Conference. While there, attendees went to various sessions to learn more about the media industry, while some of JU's representatives hosted sessions of their own. Communications professors Dennis Staus, Courtney Barclay, and Anne-Marie kent Willett shared their knowledge of ethical decision-making, social media, and study abroad programs. While there for almost a week, students and faculty got to enjoy the sights and experiences found in Dallas. The burger phenomenon, in and out is found primarily along the west coast of the United States, with a few scattered around Texas. The first of the chain was opened in 1948 by Harry and Esther Snyder. The restaurant prides themselves on serving the freshest drinks, burgers, and fries in a friendly and sparkling clean atmosphere. Texas is also known for their southern barbecue. It's true what they say, everything is bigger in Texas, even the lines. For just a taste of that Texan barbecue, customers are willing to wait for hours in a line that wraps around the building. Convention attendees were also able to experience life as a Dallas native. The farmer's market is held weekly on Saturday mornings. There, homemade goods and food can be found. With all kinds of handcrafted decorations and artwork for sale, People can support those within the community by purchasing those works of art. A family-owned pumpkin patch was found at the back of the market where pumpkins of all shapes and sizes could be found and purchased, with the proceeds going to the family farm.
getting to experience a little bit of the city is one of the things that makes the conference a unique experience for faculty and students. In addition to the presentations, some annual awards were given out. Reporter Katie Krosick features this story. Thanks, Hannah. While at the conference, students and faculty attended conference sessions, keynote speeches, and an award ceremony where a few students were recognized for their work. At the National College Media Convention in Dallas, the Aquarian was recognized during the Associated Collegiate Press Pacemaker Awards. Editor-in-Chief Hannah Thompson explains how the Aquarian so functions. The Aquarian is an annual um, literary and arts magazine, and it takes, um, obviously, a year to produce. And um, we basically just, uh, it's a student-run magazine, and we uh, take students' work and compile it into a uh, student-produced magazine. So. The Pacemaker Award is known for being one of the most prestigious awards for collegiate media students. The Aquarian was acknowledged as a finalist. Co-advisor Chris Dew explains how the magazine got to be recognized at this award ceremony. Submissions process, and we submitted an online application, and 32 Pacemaker finalists were awarded, and we were luckily included in that group. Although the Aquarian did not receive the award, editorial staff member Hannah Santos shares her experience. Because this was the first time that I was experiencing something like this. It's a huge honor to be a small part of something like this huge to represent for our school. While at the conference, the Aquarian team had the opportunity for the magazine to be critiqued, giving them hopes to win the Pacemaker Award next year. After their experience at the convention, the team looks forward to next year's convention located in Louisville, Kentucky. Reporting for the Dolphin Channel News, I'm Katie Krosick. Thanks, Katie. And thanks for tuning in to the Dolphin Channel. Be on the lookout for our next broadcast as we keep you up to date on what's happening on your campus. I'm Hannah Shammy, and from all of us here from the Dolphin Channel, thanks for watching.